But I'll finish that by hand. So I need to take off a uh, small amount from the side here um, in order to fit the uh, slots in the face mill. Um, I've got a uh, small parallel set up here um, with a drill bit in one of the holes that prevents it going any further. Um, so yes, that's my stop and then I'm using that to square up the piece in the jaws here. Um, it's ever so slightly smaller than that but the jaws bite down onto both of them. So this is definitely held in place and this one's not going anywhere either. First thing I'm going to do is make a pass, flip it round, make another pass, um, check to see if it fits and if it doesn't I can make some small adjustments and then um, we'll take a second pass. Unfortunately it looks like I'll be fine cutting because I can't uh, get behind the end mill. So, uh, but it is just a very, 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 very small cut anyway. Oh, by the way, it's a 14mm mill, which brings me exactly to the depth I need as well. So, uh, see how it goes. We're taking a small amount. Right, well I've uh, fitted the um, drive keys now, although I opted to go a size up because there was such a gap between the uh, M5, so uh, <clears throat> the M6 fitted in there nicely, so I, uh, I went up a size just, uh, just to be a little bit more secure. And uh, now for a quick test fit. Lovely. Love that. Okay, so I've got to knock a bit off of here so this can sit uh, flush with the face here. And for that, I've got this little tool here. And uh, I'm simply just going to feed this tool across the workpiece, uh, both pieces. Uh, I'm using HSS because uh, Carbide doesn't like uh, interrupted cuts. Keep it relatively slow. I'm going to take a few more passes and uh, I'll uh, get back to you when I'm a little closer.
I believe that'll do.